We've also got, uh, you know, a brand new movie out through ACLJ Films. Uh, Logan Aseculo and Sean Hannity, our good friend, uh, co-producing it. And one of the stars of the movie is in the studio with us today, good our friend. friend John Schneider. I just wandered by. Yeah. Just I wandered, wandered. You know, I came for the coffee. It's good coffee. It's well. good. Jesse's great. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, great. He coffee. can do coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we give him a shout out there. Yeah, he just um, got married too. So you know, we're you go. gonna let's talk about the movie. I, first, I just can I get John's reaction to this thing? This and then we'll go right into the movie. Sure, go ahead. Do it. Okay. No, no, no. It's your show. <laughs> no, no, it's your show too. It's just secular. The, you got the special counsel is saying, it's, and it does tie into the movie because you got this. You talk about cancel culture. They're saying basically, if you retweeted something of Donald Trump. The government wants a list through a subpoena by a grand jury from Jack Smith. So if you did a retweet, you're a, you're, you're a target of now this. Well, where's my subpoena? Yeah. Well, they don't need to get a subpoena to you because they're getting it directly from Twitter. This is and it's Oh, like, my gosh. So, so it, it, how I'm going to tie this thing into the movie is the movie hits the cancel culture issue, Logan, correct? I mean, oh, not, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's okay, sort of the, the catalyst of the story is a, a big Hollywood celebrity who gets canceled and all his toys get pulled from the shelf, big action hero, and he gets canceled for just basically kind of this, for saying something patriotic. Right. And, you know, in all, in, in all fairness to everyone who has been canceled, yeah. you know, I say they can't cancel me, I quit. <laughs> but uh, uh, the Dukes of Hazard was really, I think, the first body on the yeah. side of the road for this yeah, whole it, nonsense. It kind of was because it was um, a, a show that was in syndication for decades. Well, in syndication for decades, but they also, years ago, like 20 years ago or so, on our MPC model, we had uh, we had the General Lee, right? Yeah, there's of Tom and I leaning on the General Lee, and there's the flag yeah. behind us. And then somewhere in that year, and this was like 20 years ago, yeah. They took the flag off the box, but they left the flag decal in the box. Should you want to put it <laughs> oh, so on you there, wanted, like the, the the model of the yeah, toy. yeah, and and since then they they then they took the Dukes off, and then they uh, we did a commercial for Auto Trader, which was uh, which was great, uh, but they shot it in such a way that you never saw the flag. They never took it off. And and Janusz Kaminski's, uh, I'm, I'm applauding Janusz Kaminski. He was the director of it. Cinematographer, uh, Academy Award winner for Schindler's List. Oh, wow. mm. But he shot that commercial so that you you didn't see the flags, just yeah. so just so the idiots wouldn't argue. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. So so Dukes was then taken off the air, and yeah. it was you can't find it anywhere. I mean, you have to buy it. I think you can buy it just on crazy. Uh, on YouTube. And so it's 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 wild. And what's crazy about that is, John, you did an event like two or three weeks ago here, and I saw pictures from it, uh, like a convention event. And the amount of people that are still showing up for Dukes of Hazzard, because it was you and Tom and Catherine, it was all of you, it means that the fan base is still wants the it. The fan there. base is still there, and the fans are every color you can imagine. Right. And they're every age you can imagine. So I don't know who it is. I've never, ever met a, a black person that ever said that Dukes of Hazzard was a racist show. Everything I hear from them, they're in their 40s, 50s, 60s, they say the same thing everybody else says. My brother or my cousin and I used to fight over who got to be Bo and who got to yeah. be Luke. Right. And my first crush was Daisy. I don't care if it's a black man or a woman or a, a uh, Asian person. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't matter. I mean, that show with Tyler People Perry. Love- he put, I remember a really interview. He's like, I, lo- I met John originally. I knew John from the Dukes. I love it. From the it. Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we got a minute but, left and we're going to yeah. keep John for the whole That's rest a, of the half hour. smells like <laughs> the best movie you're going <laughs> to see this get, Christmas. Get, okay, we got, a lot of people have already watched this uh, movie. Yeah, comments are coming in. Say okay, people. All the people but who love it. tell people how to get it. Yeah, we have a brand new movie that John is uh, starring in. It's called Jingle Smells. You've heard us talk about it for the last month. You can get it right now on jinglesmells.movie. That's the easiest way to do it. That's the domain. And if there's a QR code right now, you scan it. It's really easy to get it. It's I available now. We, we, it's we so much it. fun. No, your phone knows how to do it. You don't have to know how to do it. <laughs> that's, 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 a, true. that's a good way of it's doing it. It's a little it. scary. <laughs> yeah. so that's why they call it, it a smartphone. Pur- I went to do it. I didn't think I could find it. I went to my phone and said, you've already purchased. Here you go. Here's your link. And I just thought about it three times. shut it on the computer. And that's a tacit order. <laughs> Can we, uh, let's show some, you know, we've shown people, uh, they've seen a lot of the trailer if you've been watching our show or listening to our show, but we've got some new clips, Logan, that's pulled right. from oh, today. Nice. We and, do. And I think you, maybe you want to intro what people are going to see so that if they have sure. not yet uh, gone to Jingle Smells. Uh, dot movie and purchased and watched yet so they at least get a glimpse of what they're about to see yes it's a it's a big christmas comedy with john and ben davies who you may have heard on this broadcast before uh and what you'll see i believe in this scene this is the the in front of the jail scene this is one of the first scenes of the movie so this is one of the first scenes in the movie which is where uh john's character is the police chief his son uh both of them are war vets they, delinquent son yeah delinquent son had Trouble some issues son. You, you get him out of jail uh, and you have to again, send him up. I get him out of again. jail. It's embarrassing when you. It's embarrassing when you have to. You're the sheriff, and you have to get your son out <laughs> yes. of jail. 
And I, I pray that uh, that uh, Biden gets to experience that. <laughs> well, in this version, you set <laughs> him up. Another movie. You set <laughs> him up with a. You set Biden him up my with time. A, Merry Christmas. <laughs> you set him up with a, a little bit of a job and a cush job, if you will. Not really a cush job. Take a look. Here's a clip <laughs> uh, from one of the very first scenes of Jingle Smells. You cannot miss court, and you cannot be MIA when your parole officer comes looking for you. I went to a movie, Dad. Is it a crime? In this particular instance, it was a crime. Okay, but I smoothed it over for you. Okay, let's do this the last time, all right? You do it again. Don't let it happen again, or you're not coming out of it. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. Really, I appreciate <sighs> it's it. It's Chief Gutman, when I am working. And there's one more thing. There's a condition. Okay, okay. What is it? You're getting a job. I... Dad. No, I, I've tried to get a job. It's just, it's not as easy as it sounds. I'm not, I'm not saying for everybody with the unemployment crisis, <sighs> but it's... I said, tough. Would you stop lying to me? Okay, just stop lying. I took care of it already. Say hello to the great American workforce. No, 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 no. I can't be picking up trash all day. Come on, you, I mean, I'm not built for it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I appreciate the people that do have to do that. I really do. But, I mean, you know my schedule. I have, I'm busy. I got to walk a dog. You don't have a dog, Nick. I meant the cat. You do not walk a cat. Did you just stop making excuses? I genuinely am not. I can't. I can't do that. So, hey, wow. Well, I'll make you a deal. No, you're not making me any deal. You listen to me. Your new career awaits you, or you can do it by force. And an orange jumpsuit is part of the illustrious Highway Corrections cleanup team. It's your choice. Make it. Okay. Thinking. Woo! Hey, Nikki! Hey, Curly! Welcome to the team, son! Your prayers have been answered! Please take me back to jail. Not a chance. Santa Claus got a dirty job. Dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job. And he does it all night long. That, okay. yes, that is just a, a taste. Two minutes. Of a 93-minute spectacle. 93-minute minute spectacle. It's a fantastic movie, I have to say. John was fantastic, which we always knew he would be because he is a fantastic actor. But the movie is great. Now, I want people to, right now, especially those that are, well, if you're listening on radio, too, of course, we want you to do this. But if you're on social media platforms, this is a piece of cake for you because you can get it right now. And we encourage you to do that. And what do they need to do? Yeah, jinglesmells.movie is where it's available right now. You can you can buy it right there, stream it on demand immediately. And, uh, you can watch we, it on your phone right now, You can now, watch right? it on your phone. You can, look, I've, I've seen it on... If you're on uh, the 405 freeway right now, you can watch the whole thing before you get to Sepulveda. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Which I think is what happened with the first time you called into this broadcast. You were just stuck in... I was, uh, no, I was on my motorcycle and I pulled over in the yeah. side of the road Yeah, and used a payphone. And you did? Oh, wow. I remember I that. I did. I had some change but in my But you could pocket. get it right now, and you've seen it, Logan, on what, your phone? I've seen it, well, I've seen it 150 times. In a big, <laughs> on a big screen theater? <laughs> I have. And this is what I actually like about this movie, and I've said this, and, and we actually had this debate, because we had a distributor come to us and said, we want to maybe put this theatrically. We discussed it. But, you know, with the price of everything right now, I took my kids to see a, a you know, Paw Patrol or whatever it was, <laughs> and it was ended up being, for my family of five, and our popcorn and candy into being over two hundred dollars. And I was oh like, gosh. "This is insane! This is where we're living at right now." Because tickets are twenty plus bucks, yep. then food and drinks. And I watched the movie on the big screen in our screening room here, and then I watched it on my phone as I've been working on it, editing it. And I realized, like, I think this movie plays great on on both ways. It plays great on your TV. It plays great uh, if you have a home theater. It plays great on your phone because it's a fun comedy. And I think at the end of the day, though, we've been saying it's a. I always say it's a. a Kind of like a Christmas present. The wrapping paper is fun and silly, but inside the present, there's actually uh, some real heart there. And it there really... is some real heart. There's some substance to it. And yeah. uh, I think that's what's really terrific about it um, because of the whole cancel, cancel culture thing, but also because of freedom, exercising your freedom. Uh, as funny as it is, you know, welcome to the great American workforce. Um, he does actually wind up appreciating the fact that he has a job and has to work and he winds up being a better person for having toiled you know which right. is right now for some reason nobody nobody uh, seems to be teaching that that uh you need to work to yeah. get something right Absolutely. and i was always taught that it's better to work uh, it's better to work for uh, five dollars an hour than be given six 
Right. You know, I, I want a, a sense of accomplishment. And that this movie does that, too. It's fun. It's funny. And uh, what I haven't heard anybody say, it's really beautiful. It's beautifully shot. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Um, and considering it's got a lot of trash trucks in it, it's yeah. still beautifully shot. Yeah. I definitely um, have to give a shout out to our DP, to Isaac, yeah. who, who did a, just a fantastic job on great job on making and, it and look beautiful. And you all did beautiful. it in, uh, in uh, record-breaking time. I mean, yeah. that was that was fantastic. And uh, the beautiful people had one wonderful time there in Albuquerque. I know. You know really yeah. did. So uh, I applaud you for making the movie. I applaud uh, the, the gentleman who wrote it, who I just ran into. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ran into him, and uh, he was not playing music up there in the lobby. Yes, if you if you watch the movie, look for the troubadour. The troubadour. He's one of, he, he definitely was uh, very instrumental in writing this script. Yeah, but it's really terrific, and it's one of those movies you can sit and watch with your whole family, and you will all enjoy it, which is unusual these days. Most of the time, people make a movie for six people, you know, males, dare I say the word, <laughs> males six to six and a half years old, you know, so movies are very so, so targeted right. that there isn't anything for the whole family to sit down and watch and enjoy. Enjoy and then discuss. Yeah, movies are supposed to make you discuss their subject matter when they're done, and this one will. Yeah, it's not just silly comedy. There's plenty of it in it. It's fun. It's a it's a big like I said. It's a Christmas comedy, but it's got real messages, real heart. Uh, and yeah. I, th- I think that catch has caught people off guard in some ways, in a good way. Where you're right, they're having those discussions. They're taught. They're a lot of people watched it on Thanksgiving night. I got a lot of those watch parties. People said they put it on with the whole family and they all watched it. And that has been the thing is you've had. You know, grandparents who've been like, I love this. And then you've had my kids have watched it 10 times already on repeat <laughs> as they're laughing and they want to know how to get the toys. You know, there's, so there's a little bit for everybody. Oh, yeah. But the key thing is, folks, we want to get this movie into as many hands as we can. And that's where you come in. I encourage you to go to uh, Jingle Smells dot movie yes. right now. Uh, if you're on Rumble, you could just put it in the search engine and you could buy the movie and you have it now for $19. And 99 cents. One of the goals that we've had with this movie is not just it's a good movie. It's a great movie. We're very proud of it. Uh, We're also making a statement here. You are making a statement every time you purchase this movie, every time you support it. We believe this movie can be the number one new Christmas movie this year because of people like you who watch and want good content and are ready to, you know, kind of, John's been doing it for years. Get rid of some of the gatekeepers who are in yeah. Hollywood and produce this content ourselves. It's not going to happen on its own. It's only going to happen if people support it. Yeah. And if people stop supporting, which people don't talk about very much, you have to stop supporting that which you disagree with. And you have to stop. So that means if there's some celebrity out there that, uh, you know, not to mention any names yeah. like Dwayne Johnson, I wouldn't mention those names. <laughs> but if you, if you have a celebrity out there who offends you in any way or with whom you you disagree then for goodness sake don't go support them by watching their movies same thing with sports people you know if there's a sports celebrity out there that that uh, rubs you the wrong way stop watching them yeah. i mean you have the power what are they the power of the purse but you need to do two things you need to support more that which you agree with and support less that with with that with which you disagree with Sounds pretty simple. Yeah, we, we've said it pretty easily when watching this movie. It's at least you know from a lot of the people who worked on it, like you and me and the writers and, and a lot of the actors, and <laughs> it too is you know the people who made it don't hate you. Uh, you know, like, you know, they, it's not like right. you're sitting there seething, going even look, even the liberals who probably worked on this movie, I, these people are not a group of people who got around <laughs> and said I'm going to hate. Uh, I'm going to. You, you, we want you. Like I said we still want your money, but you know we actually dislike everything about you as a person. Yeah, yeah. That is not what this is. Uh, and it's a different world and we actually can break through and, and we're doing that with Rumble we're doing that with even the DVD sales which will be yep. going up very soon yep and, and the, the D- movie suggests it's just it's it's fun and it's entertaining and it's thought provoking and it's beautiful and it's all those things but one thing it's not is it doesn't hit an audience over the head and say you must agree with us right yeah we yeah, don't man. care if you agree with us we are exercising our freedom of speech we are telling stories in the manner with which I believe God has given us the tools to tell them. So if if that speaks to you, then that's wonderful. If it doesn't, then that's okay. Yeah. And I don't know where that went. I don't know where all yeah, of a sudden yeah. people had to be this or that. Right. I, even, I don't get it. Even our hardcore liberal character who screaming and yelling throughout, guess what? We'll spoil it a little bit. Maybe gets a redemption as well. Could happen. You know what? Right, it could happen. I get it. Jinglesmells.movie. We're going to keep this conversation going. And we're going to announce the DVD sales will be coming very soon. Some people yes. have asked for the physical. Uh, so right now you can stream it on demand. And there will be a DVD right option. And that DVD option you're going to like as well. Because we're when not the DVD going. Yet? When's the DVD option? It'll be next week. We next have to week. Wait. Next. Manufacturing is tough because of... 
hard to get stuff these yeah, days. Yeah, exactly. It's good. I wonder See, why. There, why will be a hard, there will be a hard copy, as <laughs> Maybe we we'll say, as well. Maybe we'll talk about that a as well. Copy, yeah, because yeah. it's another way, kind of like partnering with Rumble, where we get to work independently and away from the studios, which That's is That's the way fun. to go. We shout out in New Mexico over, uh, you a know. A week ago? Yeah, it feels very short with our <laughs> you know, director, Daniel. Have we finished with, shooting it yet? It does feel that no, way. I mean, it, it was, <laughs> look, there are some things, we were in the edit, and John, I know you get your hands dirty on the edits as well. Uh-huh. There are certain things where, if, if I could tell you how last minute they were, like there's even a noise where a spit take noise and that noise it happens because he's he takes like a jug of milk and takes a swig and spits it's like spoiled milk uh for some reason that sound didn't pick up so if you hear the foley of my of, of a spitting that's me in my kitchen uh, doing, doing your the, kitchen doing that in the middle of the night when my wife's probably like what's happening that's how hands-on we get with these making these movies logan you want to know how many people would have noticed that uh, no one but that's for me. That's okay, for me. Okay, all right, all right. I was excited as as about know that. that. As long I'm, as you know that. very particular. I'm very specific, but I You know I when the movie it. is done is when they pry it from your... Ex- yeah. it, look, that's what, <laughs> that's what had to happen. Eventually, we had to get there. But I think what's cool, and, and something in this story that we... It, it's kind of hinted at throughout. It's very specific. It's, it's in there, but strongly. And then really kind of there's one big moment, is there is this connection to the military and to veterans and... When we were crafting this story originally a couple of years ago, right. it was let's make this uh, lead uh, a war vet from Afghanistan who fought in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, and then we had the Afghanistan withdrawal happen and that whole botched disaster that happened under the current administration. And we thought, yeah, buddy, well, could we place this in in a real world event that happened so recently that everyone kind of remembers and everyone, even the <laughs> younger people who are watching, because I think that was the problem. When we get so more and more removed from the original you know, war in Iraq and the war in Afghanistan, maybe a, a 15-year-old or whatever wouldn't necessarily connect with it. But they remember two years ago, a year and a half ago, uh, when that was happening. We were actually shooting during the anniversary of that, and I was following it. So we decided to kind of give it a little bit more real world. And there was all these stories that were coming out mm-hmm. of how long that war stretched that you had fathers and sons, and you'll see this in the next clip, who served in Afghanistan? You had uh, daughters. You had you had fought families. Fought in the same war. Fought Different in time. the same war. Yeah. G- generations apart, uh, which is wild to think about. It is. It's, I, and, and I tell you, when I read that, I thought this is really great. Uh, my uh, analogy was my uh, uh, my brother had the same English teacher that my yeah. mother had. Right. You know. So it's, the only other time I've heard it, right. anybody like think that. about that was during that time. I, my uh, elementary school was my dad's K through twelve school. Yeah. So a shared experience, which I think they'll see in this clip, yeah. is so is so very important. Um, but the dad is so understanding. This this for me is when when uh, my character kind of turns more into Jonathan Kent. Yes, from where Smallville. He, yeah, know, from yeah. Smallville, where 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 he understands that he doesn't understand. Yeah, you know, I don't get it. So don't beat yourself yeah. up for what you're going through. Because even though I was there, I'm not going through that. Yeah, you did, it was a different time. It was a different thing. Let's, yeah, and let's... you know, in my personal life, that's about about uh, about grief. Right. You know, my uh, losing a spouse is different than losing a parent. Yeah. Different than losing a child. I don't know what my family feels about that, nor yeah. do they know what I feel. Uh, you know, right. being nobody able to, understands to anyone's is, perspective. And being able to accept that is something that I think a lot of people, you want to relate. You want to jump and say. Well, adulthood, I think, is when you know what you don't know. Right. Exactly right. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. there. All right, let's take We're a look. Here's, this. here's a clip from Jingle Smells. Father and son, both serving in the same war are nearly 20 years apart. <laughs> How wild is that, huh? But we're here. We made it. That is the important thing. We got lucky. No, we did not get lucky. We were blessed. We are blessed. You know what you need? You need to come to church. <sighs> Don't start that again. Yes, I am. I'm going to start that again. It would do you some good, son. Shoot, you might even meet somebody. It's the holidays, Nick. Oh, man. Who doesn't go to church around Christmas time? Come on. Yeah. You know what? You're right. A garbage man with multiple felonies and a suspended driver's license? What church girl could resist? You're turning this all around, son. Your life counts, Nick. Yeah, well, look, I want to do something with it. I do. But what? You're gonna figure it out. You have to. If not for you, then for all the guys who didn't make it home. Right? To the boys. There you go. That is a clip from Jingle Smells, which is available on demand right now at jinglesmells.movie. And we can announce that a physical copy DVD is coming next week. Yes, next week, John Schneider Studios.com. Which John is Schneider Studios.com. Which was cool for us, because just like 
when we decided to partner with you, but partner with Rumble. You know, we can do this away from the big Hollywood system. And we said, well, we know there's we demand for DVDs. We could movie with the Hollywood no, system. No, we knew there was demand for DVDs. And we're like, well, let's go to John. John is, is doing that himself. And great, we get to partner with someone specifically. So exclusively for this year, at least, you can get those DVDs on John Schneider Studios. Unless I have some left. In yeah. which case, you can get them next year. Well, yeah, so well, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, it won't. hopefully it, it, no, I don't think you I have will. To, have to order more. We'll I don't think more. I will. I don't but think listen, I will. The fact that you are able to have hard copy DVD and that you could stream it right now, it, it, we're making it accessible. This is an ACLJ film project, which means this helps the ACLJ. So here's what we need you to do: if you want the hard copy or both, and a lot of you may want both. Yeah, stream it right now. Stream it and get a hard copy. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to do. So, jinglesmells.movie. Dot movie. That's easy. And then right from there, if you're on Rumble right now, just type in in the search, Jingle Smells, and pops right away. There, there it is. It's there the you first are. thing. And, and uh, John Schneider Studios, next week we'll be having the DVDs available. So, yep. all of that's happening. We'll link those on our website So, we as encourage well. you to do that. The we'll thing that I liked the most about the movie was, it was both, it's what you said about the kind of the gift wrapping of the papers, the comedy, but... Underneath all of that were really important messages. Yeah. The cases, the issues we deal with all the time here. Yep. Yep. I love it. I love the, uh, uh, because I have been an action figure. Yep. Yes. And because you can't find my action figure anywhere unless it's in an antique store. I mean, I know. <laughs> or my office. Or signed, your office. You know. <laughs> right, right, right. I know what, I know what that feels like. Yeah. I mean, I really do. It, it's because the Dukes of Hazard was the most merchandised television show the most successfully merchandised television show of all time it's wild <laughs> and then uh, all of a sudden some some group of people decided that uh, they were going to make it the enemy right and uh yeah and it, it so it doesn't feel good uh, i made a movie actually about that yeah. a couple of years ago yeah, exactly. called christmas, 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 cars. christmas cars i mean but yeah. the point is this cancel culture is a real thing i mean people need to understand this isn't pretend I mean, this is real. You got to watch every word you're saying now, as I said at the beginning of the broadcast, and now you got a special counsel in Washington who wants to know who you've retweeted, especially if you retweeted the former president of the United States. So now you're on the naughty list. Again, the movie, Jingle Smells dot movie. And we encourage you to get it today and John Schneider Studios for the DVD copy. We are excited to do this. And the reason people have been like, well, why decide to start with a Christmas comedy? Because we want something you can show to your friends and family that's going to be accessible and fun. We're not just hitting them over the head, as you said, with hardcore political commentary. There's plenty of it in there, but it's done in a nice way, in a funny way, in a satirical way. Something that you maybe grew a up with. A spoonful of sugar yes. helps the medicine go down. So no, it's excellently done and very clever. Thank you so much. Dad, I'll let you take it from here. Yeah, then. so, you know, this is part of what we're trying to do with the ACLJ is to impact all these different venues, whether it's a courtroom, whether whether it's public policy, whether it's entertainment. Uh, we have the band. John's played with the band. I mean, we Great do that band. for you. I mean, I want to get you back in, by the way. We got to do happy that. I want to love to. Well, we're, we're going to be doing a concert next month, so we'll see if we can get okay. you Okay, I'll do one of and, the new songs. All right, and here's what I want you to do. I want you to get that movie at jinglesmells.movie. I also want you to support the work of the ACLJ. And you do that by going to aclj.org. And by the way, a portion of the proceeds of this movie goes to the ACLJ as well. When you buy a DVD... At John Schneider Studios. A portion of that is going to the ACLJ as yes, well. Sir. So yes, you are really helping us out here, folks. We encourage you to do it. ACLJ.org for that donation. And if you want to get that movie, uh, jinglesmells.movie or John Schneider Studios for the DVD.